Yeah, I'm Dave Jones, I'm the president of Cloudgen. Dave, what are you showing here at Gamescom? It's a game called They Came From Space, and it's kind of like a showcase of all the technologies we've been building into what we think could be a pretty fun game experience. So this the game experience you mentioned is something I've never seen before. It's a VR game, but it's also a non-VR game. Yeah, we kind of, we wanted to make a VR game, but we know it's kind of tough just now because we're not quite sure, you know, how many, you know, VR players are out there truly and if you could really make money from a, a VR game, which obviously is important to developers. So we love the idea of mixing VR players and PC players together and, and trying that angle. So talk about the gameplay in this game. What are you doing as the alien overlord? So, so the alien overlord is the VR player. And basically he's come to Earth because basically he has mining rights for Earth or harvesting rights as we like to call it. So he's basically come down and he's basically harvest everything, all the buildings, all the people, um, extract all the energy from them. And his plan then is, is to go home with that energy. And then you also have the drones, which are the non-VR players. Yes, so he comes down with basically his fleet of wingmen, which is the PC players. Um, so when he lands, he'll be kind of harvesting, but the drones are all off harvesting as well, bringing energy back to him. So then talk about the PvP aspect, because it is a multiplayer competitive game. Yeah, so we wanted to get some multiplayer competitive in there. So um, there was a little bit of a, a mix-up, it seems, and actually two alien factions were given the harvesting rights at the same time to Earth. So they actually both appeared down at the same time. So obviously not very happy. One of them, you know, they both feel they have the harvesting rights. So the only way to sell it, we think, is with a fight. There's a very impressive amount of uh, physics in this game. Talk a little bit about how you can make that possible. Uh, well, that's kind of what Cloudgen does. We do a lot of compute in the cloud. That's what we're trying to bring the game. So you, for the first time ever, you can you can really start to crank up, you know, how much CPU power you can give to your game. Um, so in this game, we apply a lot of that to physics. So we made the whole town that the aliens are coming to harvest fully destructible. Everything is, you know, is dynamic. So we, we kind of do what we do math in the cloud. So we think that's a great thing. The CPUs, that's what they're built for, you know, is doing a lot of math. And the great thing is math, actually, the result is a very small amount of data to stream back. So we can do these huge physical calculations, you know, in the cloud. Um, they're crunching loads of numbers, but effectively all they do then is send the math back from the results back to your, your local machine. And then it just says, oh, great, I didn't have to do all that computation, but, but I know the result. And we do that on a massive scale. If you have like a VR rated machine, but it's not like a monster of a machine, like a four-way SLI, you can still get the same kind of quality using your technology. Yes, so basically if you want to, with VR you really want to dedicate as much of your local machine to rendering because you want to be many frames a second, you want to be high resolution. Um, but with our kind of, you know, back-end tech, we can have the equivalent of like four or five CPUs doing all the number crunching, all the heavy lifting, and just streaming that back. So then talk about what this opens up for broadcasters as well. Uh, well, because we're actually running the whole simulation in the cloud, what's kind of cool is we can attach a GPU um, um, a GPU uh, renderer to that and then you can actually stream from another camera an outside view of the player which for VR is much better because it's not great to, to you know stream the, um, the VR perspective your head movements really fast you're kind of like trying to stream 3D into 2D it's much much more effective we, we believe to, to render from outside the VR player and so we've given you like a selfie stick camera that's rendered in the cloud and you can actually stream that to your, to your viewers so this is this is most uh, you know big broadcasters have two PCs, one to render the game and then one to render their you know high definition video at the same time, and this would eliminate the need for the second PC. Yeah, absolutely. So now it can all be done. You can even do multiple ca multiple cameras, you know, for example, if you wanted. So just let the GPU renders take care of that and free up your local resources. So if people want to find more information about CloudGen, where would they go? Uh, come to cloudgen.com with lots of information on the tech and the engine there. And then there's a link, you know, direct to, we actually have our own website now for They Came From Space and there's a link there. And when does They Came From Space come out? What platforms will it be on? Uh, we can technically do it on any platforms. Right now it's on PC. Um, we'd love to, you know, maybe talk about doing it on console and to find the right partner for that. Uh, we haven't really announced a release date just yet. We're just kind of getting feedback from it. But we hope to, you know, with good feedback, we hope to get into players' hands pretty soon. <laughs>